Hi guys, welcome back to Majestic Notion. So it's about that time to bring you guys a sexual romantic reading pick a pile, okay? So, setting the mood here, we're gonna jump right into these readings, okay? Um, we have pile number one, which has the cross ring. Okay. Pile number two. We might have an oddball out here, someone that likes to have fun. Who knows? We'll see. It is a surprise to you as it is to me. But this one is very different than the rest. Okay. So we shall see. Pile three. We have the rose ring. Beautiful rose. And pile four, it's kind of like a star with hearts. So that could be very special and significant for some of you. We shall see. So concentrate on the pile that you would like. And we will start with pile one, the cross. Timestamps will be below for each pile. And let's get into it, guys. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions, and all your beautiful, wonderful comments. Um, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for those of you who would love to see when these pop up. I do them about once a month. So, cross, pile, the cross ring. Let's, let's get into it, and let's see what your person is thinking currently passionately, romantically, and sexually when it comes to you. See you on the flip side. So welcome, pile one, for those of you who chose the cross. Okay, let's see what's happening. Now I'm going to get into what it, I first feel is happening between you and this person and then we'll get into the sexual messages okay so we have introvert we have addict and we have gypsy soul mm, I'm feeling a little obsession and addicted to you somebody's addicted to your essence for sure. I'm getting naughty nice also. Five of Pentacles. The distance. The distance. I feel it's killing somebody. The Ace of Swords. Somebody wants you to just take me now. I surrender. I call uncle. With the addict. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> I just heard nine and a half weeks for those of you who have watched that movie and understand what I'm talking about a lot of sex and food was involved yes a lot of kinky pleasures I see it here with that ace of swords three of swords yes yeah, somebody uh, <laughs> ace of pentacles Somebody really wants to spend some time with you. Uh, there might be um, a distance here for a reason. We'll get into that. We have the devil again. With Attic, that is the devil card. Okay, let me, let me slowly get into this, the rest of this. Okay, and we'll clear these up later actually let me, here, let me put them over here so far what I'm seeing is there's a lot of passion here um, definitely somebody knows they're addicted to you okay they see you as a gift they want to spend time with you they want to offer you something they they really want to speak their truth and come to you but this is also not just sexual this is about wanting a relationship here um 
for some of you there is a level of finances here that either one of you possesses um, one or both of you possess um, I do feel like it's one person and someone is very much addicted to the coin but I honestly feel like somebody could be well off financially but has no one in their life and maybe they have been going through some healing here and would love for you to be in their life with you're just different you know you have that gypsy soul you're very um, a lot of you could be spiritual um, but very free spirited you are an individual and somebody here absolutely loves this about you you could be the one that's a bit introverted but um, for others of you is this person as well um, but I see it's just so much admiration my goodness somebody really wants to surrender and come to you but there could be something else going on here um, definitely I see that someone does wear protection because I see with this obsession <laughs> that you guys could quickly uh, make a baby okay this might be someone that hurt you before or they have a tendency to do things that kind of break your heart for some of you okay uh, they might be a flirt um, and they could have been this way maybe perhaps before before they kind of analyzed their feelings for you but I see them just very obsessed with you okay I don't think they like this distance between you at all so let's continue let's see what else we have here yeah we have the seven of swords okay I do see a level of insecurity um, maybe someone thinks that you have someone else because of the distance and that there's no way that you would be single or not involved with someone so I do see someone here that is has some insecurities about this but we again we have the ace of Pentacles twice okay so definitely this person I feel is slightly intimidated by you or they feel intimidated and, and they hold back they think about it they analyze it they don't want to fall into a trap is what I'm seeing here but I don't see there's a trap here I see it's because of a, a, the feelings are so strong it's it's a borderline obsessive okay let's see what else we have here yeah we have the hermit this person really goes within and really is very cautious when it comes to this and the reason they're so cautious is because they are extremely into you extremely into you um, I do feel this person wants a connection I feel like the cross here is representing faith and someone that likes to be committed um, when they commit to a situation but not they may not like like this is the kind of person that could probably stay single for some time and they may not like to just jump into a connection with just anyone this is someone that really really analyzes it and goes within because they have been lied to before and they do not want to be lied to again I can tell you that much um, but they are so into you so into you they want to surrender to this and they want to explore it yeah they feel like you would bring them joy this is the Sun okay they look at you and they smile a little bit or a lot of bit with the devil here twice <laughs> okay I feel like this person could be enlightened or has figured you know has gone through an awakening for some of you but could just you know see the light when it comes to you trying to remain positive as well and not ruin it with their insecurity is what I'm seeing as well I do want I do see they want to spend some time so they're not misjudging you sexually this person really really 
really wants to spend time with you. They want to, like, treat you well. They want to see where it goes. You know, they're hoping things get a little interesting, that's for sure. And, you know, it might be hard for this person to come to you because they are feeling so drawn to you that they might not know what to do in your presence. But they they see something. I, You know, with the Seven of Swords and the Sun, you know, maybe they thought... Oh, this is too good to be true. But I feel like they have clarity now. Okay. Um, and that's their own insecurities with the Five of Pentacles and Three of Swords. It just tells me there's someone here that's very introverted. And um, it just tells me that, you know, they know it's because of trust issues from things that have happened to them in the past. Is what I'm seeing. And, yeah, we have the Seven of Pentacles. They do want to plant seeds, and, you know, I'm not going to show that too much there, but they <laughs> they want to see what you taste like, that's for sure. And there is a fruit here with the Ace of Pentacles, two fruit, <laughs> with the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, definitely be careful <laughs> having sex here, because very fertile grounds here um they definitely see this as a gift i feel you're both a gift to each other and i feel you're both going to be just as obsessed with each other here if you're not already together i don't think you are because of this five of pentacles and the three of swords um definitely this person has been hurt in the past um Male or female, so take it how it resonates. They want to taste this fruit. That I can tell you. Okay? They know it's time with two pentacles, two ace of pentacles here and the ace of swords. You know, I see the ace of swords is cutting down the fruit from the tree, which is the seven of pentacles. Things that took time to grow and finally come to fruition. So this person, I feel, if you don't know who they are, they have been watching you for quite some time. But they were going through, like, some things, some growing pains, um, learning some lessons in their life, um, you know, becoming wiser, analyzing things that went wrong in their connections before. And um, they're coming to you with an offer that you can't refuse, that's for sure. Okay? I feel you're both ready to give to each other here with two ways of pentacles here. Definitely I'm feeling equal giving and receiving. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Eight of swords. I don't know if you see this, but he has his hand in his privates. And this person, this is the eight of swords with the hermit and the devil card. So this person really obsesses about this connection with this beautiful gypsy soul. Um, he would definitely be obsessed with you. I don't feel it's in a bad way. This person feels trapped by your essence, your energy. With the Eight of Swords, they cannot stop thinking about you and also they cannot stop masturbating okay they do want to turn that fantasy into a reality okay this person has been in hermit mode for some time thinking about this um ten of pentacles so it's not just sex it's relationship and i feel like they fantasize about this a lot in when they're in private okay and it, wow i mean if you look at his face he is like stuck stuck like Chuck <laughs> um, yeah I have a feeling this person wants to surrender they're tired of just living in the in the fantasy realm and they want they can't you know they can't set themselves free from it I almost feel like they feel like they're under your spell okay so let's see what we got here 
Yeah, we have, I never meant to take this long. I promise I'll make it up to you. Your prayers are about to be answered. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're not going to miss this opportunity. They have been analyzing it for some time. Yeah, look at this. I know when I see you, I'm going to have to fight the urge to rip your clothes off. Strong magnetic pull. Divine passion. Nothing like it. Wow. So they were just uh, kind of healing from something is what I see. Yeah. Oof. Blind desire. The unknown. Open to trying new things. Intoxicating. It is so fire. So you might be uh, meeting someone new here. Definitely somebody you haven't explored in a sexual manner here. Um, and they really want this. It's like like wow their fantasies are extremely erotic okay erotic erotic put your hands all over my body erotic erotic oh yeah <laughs> yeah look at this love mixed with a fiery passion sexual healing the perfect elixir beautiful mm. Definitely, this person is into you. And if you know who they are, you I feel you guys are going to be or are very into each other. Yeah, they want to touch you all over and over again. Mm. Right next to the devil. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, love affair, dirty thoughts, dirty secrets, dirty desires. Yeah, this person definitely was getting out of something else and they were thinking heavily heavily about you they've been wanting you for some time they have been wanting you for some time um, yeah look at this you came out of nowhere and now I can't unsee you hook line and sinker Ooh, yeah this person He's got it back, or she, you know. Romantic vibes surround you at this time. I smell potential. Yes. So this is a beautiful connection coming together. Love and passion. The perfect elixir. Um, and it's definitely this person wants commitment here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. But they will be protective over you. They are that crazy head over heels over you okay they have clarity on whatever they were going through in the past there and they're just kind of healing gathering themselves up here because they have been looking at you no matter what they were going through um and they're trying to tell you they never meant to take this long man they're gonna make it up to you but when they see you this person might not know what to do with themselves because the pat the anticipation here has been building for quite some time I can tell you that much yeah if you only knew the things I want to do to you mm -hmm. I'm closer than you think okay so they could be in your vicinity or you know maybe they've moved closer to you if they were living somewhere else or they're closer than you think meaning they're planning on making their move here and they do want to surrender and tell you the truth or at least say something they don't want to just be a watcher yeah you're absolutely stunning this passion I feel for you is intoxicating so there you go I mean a lot of confirmation on this passion they have for you okay I don't know if you know this person you might have like taken a glance at them or maybe you met them briefly I feel you're keeping your passion on the wraps um, you might think about this if you know who they are because um, some of you you know maybe some of the females here might be you know self-pleasuring at night thinking of this person but I guarantee you this person is doing the same okay um, if you know who this is if you don't this person is so so into you my goodness 
and you came out of nowhere. So they could have seen you online or they could have bumped into you at some point. And I can tell you, you've exchanged either like social media, you know, like, hey, look me up on social media. Or this is like one of these dating apps where they caught your eye or you caught their eye. Or somehow, some way, I mean, they're all over it. But they were in something else, so that's why they didn't come forward right away. And uh, they are gathering themselves back up here so that they can finally come to you. You know, that that's a tough situation they were in. But we're not going to get into that. Okay, they adore your sense of humor. You are so funny. So they're definitely watching what you're putting down on online, or you know, maybe they met you and they thought you just had a great sense of humor. They love that about you. They love everything about you. I can tell you that. And they are faithful. Uh, that that is beautiful. To end with that note. There you go. All right. I love this energy this is someone that is going to this person wants you so bad not just sexually they want to genuinely get to know you they will be faithful to you they are that into you and um, they know you're faithful as well uh, they can just feel it they might have had some insecurities because of past hurts um, I can tell you that somebody did stab them in the back in their other connection that they were in and they're just kind of you know dusting themselves off here and regaining their confidence so they can talk to you uh, this might come out of the blue with the ace of swords but there is an offer here for sure um, and this person is very romantic from what I see here they have a lot of fantasies when it comes to you a lot okay and they're getting closer and closer they want you to know they never meant to take this long if you bumped into them and you felt that chemistry but you knew that you guys couldn't be together because they were in something else um, you know they felt it too okay they never stopped thinking about you um, and they want to tell you and and I can tell that this has been a long time coming because of that card I never meant to take this long I promise I'll make it up to you um, so your prayers are about to be answered is what it says there as well like this is like you know they're jumping into something different with blind desire but they're open to trying new things so you might be very different than their usual type but <laughs> it doesn't matter because they love it okay um, let's see I, I did throw in some of these uh, talents career and hobby cards let's see what we get so we have house flipper so either you or this person likes to flip houses maybe that's something you would like to do but I'm also getting man they want to turn that house upside down they want to flip this house with all this passion okay <laughs> that's what I'm getting oh the magician magic tricks and sorcerer this could very well be a manifested connection and a beautiful one at that okay beautiful yeah and somebody here has magic hands I'm telling you they feel like they're under your spell and when you when it says you came out of nowhere and now I can't unsee you it's just like you know the magician makes things appear or disappear out of nowhere so that makes sense here and we have guitar and guitarist so maybe somebody here likes to play guitar okay they maybe they want to play the guitar for you um beautiful i love it what a beautiful reading my goodness this person is all 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 about you okay and i feel you're going to be all about this person i see the devil here twice but i see like love mixed with a fiery passion like the vibe between you two is incredible and it's it you will feel this um connection this magic when you're in front of each other 
if you haven't been in front of each other yet and it's just been like online. Um, I feel a level of respect though for their connection that they were in and they have a level of respect for the connection that they were in. So I don't see you guys that had a love affair. I just see that they had these visions of, of you know, running to you and having their way with you. Um, but it was all a, a, a fantasy. They want to make this a reality, okay? You you just, you crossed their path and it was like the sunshine, you know, it's right next to the sun. It was like, wow, who the hell is this beautiful being? And I can't do nothing about it. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm in something else. But they never lost sight from, I, you know, you never lost their sight after meeting you or seeing you online. They find you absolutely stunning. And the passion they feel for you is intoxicating. And I see it here. I feel like they're just so caught in your web. Um, but this is a beautiful connection. This is a committed, faithful person. Okay? Faithful. They would be very faithful to you and romantic. And, you know, even if they had the urge to come to you while they were with someone, they ho they really held themselves back. And they're even still holding themselves back. They're not in that connection anymore. I can see it here because of the Seven of Swords and the Sun. They have clarity on whatever that was. Um, but even after that, they are healing and regaining that confidence before they even come to you. So this person is... A really good person I can see it okay so don't be afraid of the devil card I feel like they you know for some of you they could have been in some type of karmic situation but I see both of you being quite enamored and, and very passionate with each other is what I'm seeing there well okay so have faith I feel with the cross I feel this is the kind of person that would most definitely marry you at some point um, they see you with those eyes. They see their future here. Okay, they're they're not just looking at you sexually. This is somebody very respectful as well. And although they do want to rip your clothes off, <laughs> and they know they're going to feel this when they see you, um, they are going to be very respectful. Beautiful. I mean, pile one. I love it. All right, guys, that's what I have for you for pile one. We will get into pile two with that little uh, disco ring, little odd energy ring there. We'll see. We'll see who's resonating with that. And I'll see you there. Bye-bye. Welcome, pile two. Welcome. So we got this little funky little party ring over here. Let's see what your person's about. I feel your person is adventurous and fun. Okay, we'll leave that there. Let's see what we got. Okay, yeah, we have a rebel. And I just heard the song, Run away, run away from the pain. Something like that. We have Libra, which is like the justice card here. And we have Romantic. Okay, I feel like you're this person's justice. Okay, let's see. We have the two of pentacles. Somebody wants to touch you all over. Yes, they do. They want to come to you. They want to cycle into your life. We have the two of swords. We got a lot of duality here. We have the Ten of Wands. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody finds you so sexy. My goodness, they want to see the naked truth. You might have two people here, though. You might have choices. We have the Five of Wands. And we have the Nine of Pentacles, so somebody is definitely single. Okay. 
I almost feel like it weighs heavy on this person that you are single because they have been dealing, um, going through something else here with someone else. They could be um, going through a breakup for some of you. Um, or this could be somebody you kind of shut out of your life. I see your back turned here. You're probably open to other connections and it's weighing heavy on somebody. Let's see. Let's see what else we got here. Definitely somebody wants to come see you. They want to romance you. Um, they're a little bit of a rebel. Okay. And they're feeling that rebellious energy. They want to stop whatever is going on in their life and whatever they're doing to come see you. They want to romance you. Okay. I do feel, um, you know, you might have blocked this person again. And they may very well think that you have someone else already. I just feel like you're open to new connections. And, you know, this person maybe acted out. This is the kind of person that liked their freedom. And they probably, you probably spooked them. They probably got scared. Um, when you came around their life okay for whatever reason but they still think of you they never forgot you and I feel like you know with Libra here that being the justice card you know I feel like this person was um, blocked from your life already so there could have been something in just here but I see romance coming to you most definitely okay and it does it does pain this person quite a bit to see you single out there just open for anyone to um, make a move okay not I mean I'm not saying you're open to anyone just making a move what I'm saying is in their mind you know they see you single and it's weighs heavy on them because obviously they find you very attractive and like you can have anyone okay and um, I feel you're very open to that, to having someone right come into your life, if they are the right person. I see them envisioning also you with other people. You know, this person is definitely a lot of regret here for them. Um, they fear rejection also. You know, they fear if they reach out, you would reject them, which is probably true from what I see here. Um, change has occurred here uh, so you definitely moved on but I see romance coming to you I see somebody here okay knight of cups yes yes so let's see let's see what else we have here yeah we have the two of swords again yeah, this person wants you, but I don't think you're you're into it anymore. Okay. And I said somebody wants to undress you. Yes. Look at this. Somebody wants to see the naked truth. They're undressing you right there. And I feel like the past person's like, okay, put it back on. <laughs> Cover yourself up. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like your past person might be a little bit jealous. <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, Wheel of Fortune. Definitely something cycled out of your life already. You're ready for new beginnings. Okay. And, you know, but they're sitting there just thinking about everything. It is what it is, right? Yeah, three of wands. Okay, somebody's coming in for you. And yes, this way is really heavy on this person. Like they sit here thinking about you and somebody else. Somebody else taking a piece. Okay, you have somebody heavy in their thoughts about what you got going on. And I do see somebody coming to you. So they're picking up um, what's happening here. Okay, they see it coming. Somebody here wants a piece of you. They see you. You're going to have romance here. 
you could be, be already involved in a romantic connection for some of you um not it's not exclusive yet from what i see here but um i definitely see some of you block that past person but someone else is coming in you're open to somebody else here you could already know who that person is you don't want this past person but boy they can't let you go and they hate thinking about you with somebody else <laughs> they really do okay yeah we have the world here yeah we have the world card so that cycle definitely has been closed you guys could be at a distance as well which adds to their frustration and definitely there's something new coming in you might have a decision to make if this person comes back around from what I see here as well. But I think your mind's made up from what I can gather here in this reading. Now remember, these are general. Okay, not personal. We have the Two of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, you are destined to meet someone else. You're both destined to be here with each other. With the Wheel of Fortune, this is what's coming in. It's an it's a unconditional love soulmate connection and this is like divine justice is what I see here with this Libra card when you get divine justice in a reading and we're not talking about 3d justice when you have divine justice somebody caused so much pain in you that the divine deemed to be completely um, unfair and unjust and that's why they're bringing you someone here that's pretty powerful the divine is going to bring somebody into your life that you deserve to be with and that deserves to be with you okay and I definitely sense whoever this person is sitting in regret with that divine with that justice card here they are going to get so much they're probably already feeling the karma and it's bad karma you on the other hand you have the divine on your side with the wheel of fortune and this justice card and the two of cups and you're about to meet a very romantic um, um, unconditional love type of connection and because you have already went through all of that you know I'm not gonna go there but um, it's coming in okay beautiful yeah the empress that's why because you have worked on yourself beautiful to see the empress is someone that embodies all queens and takes care of herself and is in touch with her femininity her masculinity and her higher self this is a person that is very well balanced this is someone that is nurturing someone that takes care of the household someone that takes care of business is very independent and it's definitely most definitely wife material you could be a divine feminine for some of you okay and there and you're single and you are open to the right connection in this energy so that's beautiful and I see it coming all right I do see that person they're over here like tying up loose ends I feel like somebody is planning I do feel I do sense that somebody is you know maybe they perhaps have been doing some research on you okay maybe watching you um, this could be somebody as well that you haven't seen in a while all right I see some fixed energy coming towards you um, it could be for some of you um, could be a water sign um, I'm also getting a little bit of earth here, but it could be any uh, Taurus, Leo, um, Scorpio, or Aquarius. Okay. Yeah, I know we're soulmates. I feel it intuitively. Okay. You are magical. I've never met anyone like you before or like you magical sorceress healer manifesting your dreams there you go that's that empress energy you're manifesting someone you are connected to truly truly connected to 
Okay. Beautiful. I just heard truly, madly, deeply. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this magnetism is animalistic. I'd like to do you into next week. Middle of the night sex. I just can't get enough. Yeah, so whoever you're manifesting here, this soulmate, um, it's a very magnetic connection. Uh, for some of you, yes, it's a twin flame. Um, and you're you're both going to be so magnetically drawn to each other, my goodness. Yes. Lucky to have found each other here. I see the magnetic. I, I just want you to look at this with the wheel of fortune, which is luck. And I see like when you guys are in each other's presence, it's I see the magnetism there. Okay, I don't want to show these too much because these are a little more explicit than the sexual magic tarot. It doesn't mean you're gonna jump on each other's bones and get it on right away, but you know. And don't come for me in the comments about me talking about pleasure when this is an 18 and up reading, okay? Some people have been just cutting up lately. Getting in my comments, you know, talking about readings that they shouldn't be watching in the first place, okay? Don't make me come for you. Okay. The teaser pleaser, the thrill of building anticipation. Oh yeah, and I see it here. Okay, so maybe you have caught someone's eye for some time. Maybe you know who this is and you have been flirting with them. Giving them the eye, okay, for some of you. Yeah, this person definitely wants to come towards you. Yeah, that past person's so worried because they know you're sexy. They know you're damn sexy. And they are so worried. Yeah, look at this. The sizzle is real. Hands down, the best lover I've ever had. Oof. Wow. Yeah, that's probably why your other your past person is obsessed. Um, but also, I feel like this person coming into your life with they're gonna be um, both of you. I mean, the sizzle is real. It's like okay, the best lover. I feel you both are going to be the best lovers. Okay. You're magical. I've never met anyone like you with hands down the best the best I've ever had. That's what's coming. Okay, but that past person is also hooked on you. Uh-huh. Yeah, do it while you think of me. Your wish is my command. Hey, now. Yeah, this person might come see you or they want you... They want you... If you know who they are, the person that's coming to you, I feel like they're gonna come see you but they might have to maybe you guys are at a distance like with the world here and it's like do it while you think of me they want you to do it while you think of them so you could like um, you know picture yourself you know with him being there okay they want that's what they want okay so I feel like somebody's gonna come see you but then they have to leave because of business or wherever they are from or other things that they have going on and um, they just they want you to do it well to pleasure yourself while you think of them yeah we have an empath light worker spread your light it's contagious mm -hmm. so yeah I do see somebody doing a lot of work research when it comes to that as well with that world card yeah, I need you to stop being so enticing, thirsty for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of anticipation. Some of you are so like, you're like the dangling carrot for this person, okay? 
with the teaser pleaser and I need you to stop being so enticing because they are thirsty for you and that sizzle is real mm. they're like please do it while you think of me don't go with anybody else <laughs> I'm coming I'm coming in more ways than one yeah I have spoken to complete strangers about this connection and we have I know we're soulmates and you're manifesting a soulmate here with the two of cups we have love letter message email text or DM okay mm -hmm. so somebody wants to send you a message if they haven't already I can't wait till I finally have you in my arms yeah somebody definitely and I see it here it's gonna be you divine feminine also so I just see you you're in bliss thinking about somebody there um, but it could be vice versa or both ways yeah look at this you're crushing on each other okay so definitely you know who this is and they see you yeah look at this if I asked you out would you say yes I think so with your crushing on each other absolutely so maybe you've been acting aloof to this person they don't know how you feel um, I don't know if this is a friend or somebody you you don't really know very well um, maybe somebody you met online because um, they're wondering if they asked you out you know would you say yes and it is a manifestation so um, and they are a light worker I feel like you are as well it's in the same row as the Empress as well you're definitely manifesting here this person and with I have spoken to complete strangers about this connection yeah some of you could definitely be twin flames and you're, you're crushing on each other that's for sure but they don't know that for sure if they if they're asking themselves if I asked you out would you say yes so yeah we have a motivational speaker yeah somebody definitely travels for work okay um, somebody here could be doing their purpose already or that is your purpose divine feminine is to be you know spread your light as a motivational speaker um, yeah we have entertainment industry so somebody here is in some form of you know they do something in the inter entertainment industry it could be through YouTube could be a celebrity could be you know because we have all kinds of people that watch tarot um, so you know definitely public eye energy um, so teacher here with motivational speaker um, and the Empress here oh I just got deja vu I just got deja vu oh definitely there's something familiar here um, I'm in you are soulmates yes or or twin flames but that hey that that is a big sign if you don't if you have never seen this person in person personally like face to face it's gonna feel like a deja vu moment for sure or it has already felt like a deja vu moment when you met this person um so yeah divine feminine either you or this person or both of you because it's with the two of cups the light worker thing you guys could possibly when you come together um, you know light workers do have a purpose and that is to help others as well to become that muse for others that teacher and you guys both might you know become motivational speakers and travel the world but what I see here is that you know maybe perhaps one of you already does that um, definitely public eye energy with motivational speaker entertainment industry and teacher definitely being that muse for others is what I see here but the passion is real absolutely um, this is gonna be the best lover you had and vice versa if you have not been with this person you know 
we have a little residual energy from someone in your past, but that's over with. But they're here because they still think of you and seeing you with someone else or th even the thought of that uh, does bother them. They know what they lost and uh, it's their loss with divine intervention here. Um, so it is what it is, male or female. Um, okay, well that's what I have for you pile two. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe the shimmering lights was about being in the spotlight with entertainment industry. I just feel like somebody does have a lot of fun. Okay? But definitely the romance is hot. Somebody definitely wants to romance you. Um, I see a good time coming, but a very special connection at that and you're crushing on each other this person might want to take you out dancing um they you know kind of explore their world a little bit um i'm hearing like it said not so likely connection for a lot of people and but beautiful connection it's almost like it's not a not so likely scenario these situations would happen because I feel like you're both from two different worlds, but at the same time, it's beautifully woven together because it is a manifestation. It's a soul bond. So I feel like you're both introducing to each other major differences, but complement each other so well. So I like this energy. Beautiful. All right, guys, that's what I have for that pile. So we're going to go to the rose pile next. Okay. And we'll see you there. Bye-bye. Rose pile, welcome. For those of you who chose this beautiful rose, let's see what we got for you. Okay. Oh, past life. So we have a past life connection. We have the Knight of Swords. And we have Crush. Beautiful. We have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Page of Cups. Somebody looks a little frustrated. Oh, somebody's... Wow, somebody's just angry. They don't know who, what you got going on back here with the moon. Because they like you. But they don't know what you're doing. And I see... Uh, almost all these piles have like somebody, like two people. I definitely see two people here. Yeah, we have the Death card. Mm. I'm hearing sorry not sorry Ooh. page of pentacles we have the page of swords yeah somebody's watching you most definitely we have the hierophant Wow. Let me just get into this energy real quick. You definitely have somebody watching you. They are upset because they haven't heard from you. I feel like they feel shut out. <laughs> and they feel like you have someone else. And I see a past life connection. This King of Pentacles wanting to reach out to you. Okay. Um... And I also see that somebody ended some form of connection here and has gone through a major transformation. Um, wow, this King of Pentacles, 
they have a lot of um, I want to say it, fetishes yes but a lot of fantasies this is the kind of person that would pour like water champagne whatever they're drinking down your mouth and lick it off I mean this is the kind of person that kind of like takes a hold of you and has his way with you in his own charming passionate way um, very strong person somebody here works out a lot um, I mean this is a past life connection here whether you're with this person yet or not we're, we'll see but yeah I feel like they fantasize about uh, doing some things here some sexy things I feel this person's very open-minded in the bedroom and um, you know they might uh, you might be a little shy so they might uh, want to talk to you over maybe a couple drinks nothing too crazy you might want to have a cocktail in the presence of this person I, I, I do see somebody that's very fit very confident um, and I see a lot of flirting just a lot of getting to know each other here if you're not with this person already it's like I just feel like bliss really to be honest in this person's presence they might want to message you or talk to you if they haven't already let's see what else is going on here yeah two of pentacles mm -hmm. yeah this is the kind of person that you guys just turn each other on you would probably do it anywhere definitely and again he's wearing green here king of pentacles energy as well I mean look at this connection my goodness yeah I feel like you guys would have a cocktail and just kind of let loose the rose darling the special rose I feel this person is romantic too I feel they would take you to like really nice places yeah definitely could be a Taurus somebody that really likes luxury they like to they like the finer things in life is what I'm picking up here doesn't have to be Taurus but that's what I'm picking up here like I feel like you guys won't get enough of each other let's see what else we got yeah we have the strength card somebody definitely wants this okay um, you know for some of you if it's not another person they want to come see you I feel like you're a little bit of a mystery they don't know what you're up to but they watch you and they want the strength to come get you okay most definitely they've been holding back I also feel like they don't know how to say what they're gonna say so it might come up a little abruptly with the knight of swords it's almost like okay I've been practicing what I'm gonna say way too much like you know writing text erasing them you know maybe they kinda oh, should I say this should I say that what should I say and like I don't know like the clocks ticking and they think that you know they're gonna miss the boat or something um, definitely frustration for sure so they might just come out and say it you know with the knight of swords because they've been holding it back for so long yeah we have the six of swords they definitely want to come towards you they close something out with the death card and the hierophant and they're crushing on you six of swords is they're ready to let whatever that was behind and come to you yeah something was cycling out of their life they want this okay definitely this person is romantic okay they want to they want to travel with you I feel they want to take you to luxurious places they want to romance you um, I mean 
it's like it starts a lot of foreplay here it starts somewhere it's like you don't even care what's going on in the background <laughs> I'm just all about this energy here okay both of you it's like my goodness and then you know eventually you go somewhere and you know do what you gotta do all right but I do feel like you guys would explore your um, sexual desires in uh, many places okay I do sense that this is the high priestess yeah they do find you a mystery especially with that mask you don't reveal all your secrets to just anyone your your secrets run deep okay you're very intuitive but yet shy and I saw that here as well so definitely a little cocktail loosen you up because they want to they want to know your your secrets that's why the cocktails are here they want to know what you're about and they don't want you to hide it <laughs> oh the high priestess is definitely a um, lady in the streets a freak in the sheets she has she's balanced between her dark and light side so good girl bad girl energy most definitely <laughs> oh yeah uh, this could be a secret crush also uh, the gift Queen of Pentacles okay <laughs> I gotta show that one briefly yeah somebody thinks you got the gift you got the gift yeah they definitely see you as someone strong confident and independent they want to see the naked truth here mm -hmm, as well um, yeah they don't like thinking about you with anyone else this person would be protective I see that again you don't show this gift to just anybody okay we're covering ourselves up because you know we know we gifted up in here <laughs> I see oh my goodness Let's see what else we got yeah eight of cups they definitely walked away from somebody and learned a major lesson they want to be with you they're ready to be with you it's like close the heart the door behind you here I'm ready for this new beginning this new chapter mm -hmm. yeah somebody's very into you I feel like they know because with the high priestess and the queen of pentacles and also we have king and queen of pentacles so there's a beautiful match here very independent both of you um you know it, it's a balance here with the two of pentacles between you you both have your own money your independence your you know how to you know create um stability and it's it's an equal giving and receiving type of connection and with the high priestess and the queen of pentacles here with the eight of cups I feel like you know they know because you're so independent and you might be spiritual or very intuitive that you would walk away from something that doesn't serve you because you don't need anyone you know as the queen of pentacles you you you're okay all by yourself so when you get with someone is somebody that adds value and happiness and light into your life so beautiful I love it wow this person knows that there's a gift to be seen here and there's a gift to experience here when it comes to you and they definitely want to experience whatever gifts you got hidden there okay they do oh this person got tricks <laughs> okay whoever's resonating with this reading yeah you keep your desires well hidden and Queen of Pentacles again with the high priestess lady in this lady in the streets freaking the sheets absolutely I fear you're actually very open-minded even though you seem shy uh, when it comes to sex you would surprise people um, I feel like people often misjudge you also 
and it's because you you know a lot of people go through life with a persona of either they're shitty living in their dark side or they're living too much in their light and I feel like you're very well balanced so it's hard to peg you because you can be good or you can be bad but it's within a moderation and a balance so that's a beautiful thing to see that's like empress energy so I like that and this that turns them on I can tell you what so let's see let's see what else we got here so I'm secretly planning to come see you cycle close yeah and I see that they did close out a cycle here get away just the two of us a break from the world new beginnings and I see that somebody wants to take you out they want to spend time with you they could want to travel with you okay yeah look at this I can't stand <laughs> they get angry when they think about this I can't stand thinking about the possibility of you being with someone else I'm scared that you might have other options I'm stuck in another situation and cannot break free at this time but that is what they just broke free from because we have a cycle closed here so wow there you go they hate that they don't know what you're up to because you're very mysterious very quiet they hate it <laughs> they hate it because they don't know they don't know you know they don't know if you have someone yeah I would love the chance to speak with you reaching out message text email I might actually call obviously for those of you um, who haven't seen this person or spoken to this person whether in some time you know that might actually call you know they may or may not have your phone number if you even know who this is okay your touch consumes me you make the hairs on the back of my neck stand up Ooh. Yeah, and I feel like I, I see that here. Like both of you, you have this energy of they're going to be consumed by by your um, your aura, the way you carry yourself, the way you caress them, the way you tantalize them, look at them. It's like, and, and if it is a Taurus, they're ruled by Venus or Virgo. I think Virgo, yeah. And... Um, you know we have Scorpio here as well we have heavy Taurus though you know they are consumed by touch romance uh, sensuality okay so they love being touched uh, lip biter I love to bite my lips as I watch you but what I truly desire is to bite and suck on your bottom lip so yeah this step this person wants to just indulge in you okay it's almost like they look at you and they can't help themselves they just like bite their lips like oh my god I gotta have this person yeah fire ignited and not a hose in sight Oof. so definitely um, it's like the anticipation of this passion the hold back the holding back the watching the waiting for the right moment to reach out what to say and how to go about this I mean they're planning you know it, it's like there's no release until they really have you uh, because it, not anybody will suffice darling not everybody will suffice <laughs> is what I see here it's got to be you okay yeah look at this thinking of you often leads me to self-pleasure so there you go it's time to let loose time to let your hair down and break free yes and they're breaking free okay maybe for some of you you were the one in the connection so that's gonna resonate different for everybody and um, they have been watching you hoping that you are finally gone from that relationship uh, others of you it's the other way around and they left someone they left a marriage for some of you yeah I want to get wet with you get away definitely they want to get away with you 
Yeah, let's go out on an adventure. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And a special gift. There it is. Oh, they know you're gifted. And they know you are special. And they're headed right towards that gift with the Six of Swords. Okay, again, this person might um, actually give you gifts. Um, they just seem like such a giver is what I see here. And they want to spend time with this special gift, okay? Whoever that Queen of Pentacles is, mm, special. Okay, it is special. That's video chat, so they want to video chat with you. Okay, and they want you to know they are they are single, okay, and ready to get to know you. Um, they're planning. So this person might reach out. I see a lot of frustration and how they're going to do this. I don't know. They might fear it, have a little bit of anxiety, okay? They might have to drink a cocktail before they actually reach out so they don't feel so nervous. Um, they are single. They want you to know that. They know it's time to let loose. Time to move forward with the Six of Swords and enjoy this gift. They might come to you with a gift or some kind of offering. Um, but they're going to want a video chat first, kind of. Hey, you know, I'm the guy that has been watching you for some time. Or, you know, hey, remember me? I haven't spoken to you in forever. I'm single again, you know. What what have you been up to? You know, I feel like they're going to be nervous. Okay, trying to tell you, you know, what... Because they might just, they might have been practicing what they're going to say and they're just going to be like, fuck it. I'm just going to say what I got to say with the Knight of Swords <laughs> and wing it. And, you know, sometimes that's the best way to do it. When we overanalyze it, we end up tripping and falling and all over our words. Which I'm feeling like I'm doing right now, okay? But yeah, they cannot stand thinking about you with someone else. <laughs> So, yeah, this person does re is really crushing on you. Okay, we have Filmmaker. Ooh, somebody wants to film you. Um, they might want, you know, to make a little naughty tape here. Okay. Yeah, we have Director, Commander-in-Chief. Hey, now. <laughs> Director and Commander-in-Chief. You know, maybe for some of you, hey, they could be a director. A filmmaker with filmmaker, I mean, you know, maybe they like to, um, you know, maybe that's part of their their line of business also for some of you. And we have sports, athlete, and coach. So this person could like playing sports or they could be some form of athlete or they're playing an athlete in some sort of role, some sort of, um, you know, whatever they got going on. This person could either be a celebrity or they're in the business of, you know, that's what they do for a living. It doesn't have to be that they're highly in the public eye, but, you know, it could be. I can't take that away either. Um, but what I see is they do want to make a film with you. I feel like they want to film you. Okay, they want to be the commander-in-chief in this movie. And you're the one they want to film. You're the main actress here. Yeah, this person could definitely be into sports, of course, but they could also play sports. Or they're just playing a role as an athlete. Okay. And, you know, not everyone's going to resonate with those uh, last three cards, okay? So take the messages as they resonate. All right. Pile three, that's what I have for you. So we will continue and move on to pile four, which is the star with all the hearts in it. So let's see what we have next. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates, okay? If it's brand new, it's hard to resonate with it because you're not going to see this coming, of course. Could be a secret crush, okay? We do have crush here. Um, but they do want you to know they are single and they're planning on coming to see you for sure. They don't want anybody else to, uh, they don't want to miss the chance uh, and realize that you're with someone else, okay? Which you're not. I don't see that here. Alright, guys. 
But they're looking, they keep looking to see if you're in a relationship or not, also is what I'm seeing. But I feel like you are single. Okay. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. And I'll see you in the next pile. Bye. Alright, pile four. For those of you who chose the star with all the heart rings. Okay, let's see what we got for you. So we have Dancer, we have Victim, and we have Lover. Ooh, somebody wants you to be their victim. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands, Communication. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, I heard a series of unfortunate events with the Wheel of Fortune and the victim. Okay. Um, but that's definitely cycling out of your life. Somebody might see you as someone that has gone through some things. Okay. We have the Ace of Cups with the Lover. Beautiful energy. Oh, I love it. We have the Queen of Swords. I feel like you tell it like it is with the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you definitely could have been with someone that was quite dominating in the past. Um, but we're not going to go into that. We have the Six of Cups. Yeah, we definitely have a past life connection here. Ace of Cups with the Lovers. Ooh, somebody love it if you talk dirty to them. But I feel like it comes from a good place with the Six of Cups. <laughs> somebody likes to be dominated, but they also like to dominate. Yes, indeed. Okay, let me sit with this energy for a second. <laughs> yeah, cruel and unusual punishment. Somebody would love for you to play the victim and for them to dominate you. But I also see the Wheel of Fortune as also switching roles and with the Queen of Swords. So I like that. As far as that's concerned, you both balance each other out there. It's equal giving and receiving. It's like they don't mind being, you know, a little dominated by you. It, it shows that they're not so egotistical and prideful. But they also like to dominate. So it's beautiful balance. And definitely with the Queen of Swords, you can take it. Okay. You can take it and then you, you also receive it. I see dancer here. They would love for you to dance for them in sexy lingerie. All right, definitely. And definitely, this is a past life love connection. It might be new with the Ace of Cups here. Okay, let's see what else we have. Yeah, we have the Four of Pentacles. So somebody might have been holding back some communication here. Let's see what else. But I also see like um, this person definitely finds you sexy. They don't want you to hold back what you have to say. Okay, when they're around you. They like it when you talk your truth and when you say what you feel. We have, yeah, there you go, Ace of Swords. Yeah, they like dirty talk for sure. Okay, I see a lot of kinkiness here. This is the Page of Swords, so definitely somebody is watching. Okay. Somebody's definitely watching. They want to tell you something that they have been holding back. Yes.
we have the eight of wands again so that's more communication we have two eight of wands and the ace of swords somebody most definitely wants to communicate something to you we have the moon yeah I feel they've been holding this back for some time with the four of pentacles withdrawing whatever they wanted to communicate here for some time let's see what else we have here Ooh, five of swords um i do feel because i heard the you know a series of unfortunate events they um i almost feel like they know you've you've went through some things and that's probably why the queen of swords is here okay but you know maybe you like to dance and you take out not take out that's not the right word but because I see the star here with all these hearts right yeah a series of that makes sense a series of unfortunate events so you're somebody that definitely has been broken-hearted um, some of you could be star seeds light workers indigos um, and they see that you've been through a lot I, I still feel like you remain compassionate and you've gone through a lot of healing in your life a lot of backstabbing um, but you definitely connect through music through dance um, kind of as a form of expression a form of release um, which is really nice I think that's beautiful actually and you know they might think that's beautiful um, and they have been holding back they don't want to hurt you also they know that when they tell you something it's they're gonna come correct okay they're not gonna come to you like whatever you've had in the past all right and they would fight for you with the five of swords I see them fighting someone on this bridge and they would love to hurt whoever hurt you in the past I can tell you that much very protective okay um, somebody here could be secretly jealous of um, this connection when it comes to B. Well, let's see. Let's see what else we got here. Not a lot of heavy sexual energy here. A lot of mental energy. A lot of secrecy. But I do see a, a very beautiful love coming together. Like this person would be the person to lower your defenses if there are any. Okay. Because I see that you have been beaten hard with when it comes to relationships. Okay. So you had a lot of healing to do. Um, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, will you go out with me? A weighted message arrives. Wants to get to know you. So there you go. We have I'm single again, freedom, enjoying time to yourself, confidence, and strength. Yeah, look, I saw you as a conquest. Now I see you as the love of my life. I see you in a different light. How could I have been so blind? So they misjudged you at some point, or they just saw you as someone that... Uh, this person has been watching you for some time. If you've been going through this healing and transformation okay um and they probably just saw you as someone that hey i would sleep with her they felt drawn to you for some, for whatever reason and they realize it's actually deeper than that so they know you're single and there could be you know obviously they're single they want to ask you out um so there, there could be a deeper connection here well we do have the six of cups so it kind of like took them a while and we do have a butterfly here so I feel like you went through that transformation for sure so you have self-love now you're not just letting anybody in okay um, and they see that they can't treat you like some random chick okay this is love this is soulmate love here um, so definitely I feel this person has been watching you for some time and they've been holding back what they're gonna say and how to how to say it we have hot bubble bath for two romantic getaway yes there you go they know they have to romance you they gotta come to you correct they know it 
Okay, they're going to make love to you. This isn't about sex. This person is going to treat you with respect. All right. Even if in the past they were like, damn, you know, I would sleep with her. It was because of attraction. They found you very attractive. Okay. Yeah, lights out. Point me in the right direction. Blind desire. So I feel like they're going to take a leap of faith into the unknown. Okay, they don't know what's going to happen here, but they do want to pursue it. Yeah, secret lovers hiding in plain sight. And we do have the moon. So you guys might... Um, either you know this person already and they have pursued you, or this is going to be some kind of secret connection for some time, for whatever reason. You know, I don't know. Both of you will know when the time comes. Yeah, look at that. Jackpot vibrational match. Beautiful. Oh, I love to see that. With the Six of Cups and the Ace of Cups, of course. Beautiful. And yeah, new direction. It's a whole new world. And we do have the Wheel of Fortune, so there is love coming in. And this is fixed energy with the Ace of Cups. You could be meeting a Scorpio. Um, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius here. Okay, it's a whole new world. Yeah, we have Ignited Flame. Okay, with vibrational match, yes, for some of you, it could be a twin flame connection. Um, but destined to be with the Ace of Cups. So you're destined to communicate and, and um, you know, enjoy time together. They do want to enjoy some time together here. And they want to take a hot bubble bath with you. They want to get to know you and treat you with respect um, before they, you know... They, you guys are going to make love, I feel, the first time. It's not going to be just sex. Yeah, let the journey begin. Faith. Beautiful to see. I love it. Yeah, you are my light. You are my guiding light through this darkness. I will not lose sight of that. And yeah, lights out. And we have the moon here as well. So, you know, somebody could have gone through a dark period in their life, but now they're coming out out of that dark tunnel and into the light. I like it. With a new direction and it's a whole new world, it's a whole new day. So you both went through some things is what I feel. Yeah, I just know we would hit it off. So there you go. Vibrational match. And go for it with it's a new direction it's a whole new world so a lot of cards emphasizing this is a whole new beginning here okay somebody's taking a leap of faith their they have their passion has been ignited for you they've been watching you for some time here with i saw you as a conquest now i see you as the love of my life i see you went through a lot of things in your past and so have they a lot of transformation um, they are very passionate about you. They're going to take the leap of faith. They want to go for it. They know it's something new. They don't know everything that's going to happen here. You know, it's a mystery to them. I feel they do dream about you. And they've gotten clarity with the Ace of Swords and the Moon in their dream state. For sure. And um, they want to take the leap of faith because deep down inside, they know this is a vibrational match and a past life connection with the ace of cups and you guys are not only going to be very good lovers but it's it's like unconditional love it's the feelings are mutual okay this is not somebody that's going to play games with you or hurt you this is a beautiful connection you've had enough of that in your life and you already know okay you be libra um aquarius or gemini doesn't have to be what i see here mostly is that you've been through a lot um, Scorpio Pisces Cancer we got a lot of air and water some fire with the eight of wands um, but it could be anybody okay so let's see what else we have technology
we have ooh, doctor or nurse I know they would love to play that maybe for some of you you are a doctor or a nurse but they would love to play doctor and nurse with you also I feel like you guys would heal each other's wounds from past um, things yeah dreamer believer and jack of all trades there you go and they believe in this connection and so do you and um, that's why they know it's meant to be okay they want you to dance for them most definitely they want to play doctor and nurse I feel you guys are very healing to each other's life um, yeah beautiful I love it um, so you or them could be jack of all trades or that could be a trait you both have being that you're connected Okay, with soulmate and jackpot vibrational match. Yeah, I do feel a sense of um, getting to know each other in secret. And when I see stuff like that, I, th I think personally, especially when it comes to these deep spiritual connections, I think it's a good thing because you don't want anybody else's opinions trying to tear it apart before it even has a chance to begin. So I think that being in secret for some time while you get to know the real you without people getting into your ear and creating any fears um, it's a good thing to do because that way you you make your own opinions about each other okay not just one-sided about each other and nobody could pull the wool over your eyes so I think that that's a good thing here alright guys I think that's a beautiful reading uh, let me know in the comments if you guys resonate they weren't heavy with the sex this time around. I think the first pile might have been. But um, it's still beautiful. Okay? It's still beautiful. And this person has respect for you. Most definitely. And they have to because you're the Queen of Swords. With the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands, you would tell it like it is. So, <laughs> just saying. And they might have been watching you for some time. You might have helped this person grow as well. Because it says you are my guiding light through this darkness. I will not lose sight of that. So unbeknownst to you, you might have helped this person grow. And you didn't even know it. Okay? It's like you were their muse to them as well. So I like it. I think you, you're going to learn a lot from each other. Okay? Alright guys, that's what I have for you. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.